Hey, we're Ash and Dan, a couple obsessed with travel, and our goal is to visit 100 countries. We've just landed in country 58, Pakistan. This is going to be our most insane adventure yet. Over the next two months, we will be traveling around this beautifully diverse country. From the chaos of Karachi to the majestic mountains of the north and everything in between. We're ready to explore it all. So join us as we soak in the sights, sounds and flavors of this incredible country. We can't wait to show you all that Pakistan has to offer. Pakistan Zindabad. Good morning from Lahore. It's our first day heading out to the old part of the city. So we're away to get a tuk-tuk, or rickshaw as they call them here, to the older part of town where the main attractions are. Yesterday we just went to one of the biggest malls, Emporium Mall, and Ashley got kitted out in some local attire. So now I blend in a little bit more, feeling cute. Shawal. Kamis? Shawal Kamis, yeah, I think so. But yeah. Really I think cool. it suits me. <laughs> and that cost you 5,000? Uh, 4, no, 4,000. 4, yeah, 4,000. 4, 4,010, which is about 12 pounds for, for both top, top, top and, and trousers. So, yeah. So now I can look cute in Lahore and the rest of Pakistan. Ready to go? Ready to go. Into the carnage. 4784? Yeah, that's it. Feels good to be back in a rickshaw. Yeah. It's about a 20 minute ride from where we're staying in Goulburg to Lahore Fort, which is our first stop. These, uh, these rickshaws, the cool thing is that they're totally enclosed with have doors and everything, which normally the ones, I guess, like Southeast Asia, Thailand and things, they don't have doors. So it feels a little bit more secure. It's a cheap way to get around. This is pounds for 25 minutes. 400 rupee for the ride. I don't know if you caught that, but we just saw three camels crossing the road. <laughs> three camels and then a guy getting pulled by a horse and cart. It's, uh, we saw a couple of cows on the road yesterday as well. So yeah, we did. You can really see any, <laughs> anything here. Any animal is probably roaming around the streets here. I think we're getting closer to the walled city. It's getting busier. It's getting busier. Yeah. Maybe a bit more security as well. Yeah. It's just like the roads. Oh, bumpy. Um, just the roads are total. God, <laughs> That was Pakistani Uber called InDrive. You can actually book the rickshaws on there, and that ride only cost 400, which is just over one pound. Yeah. We gave them 500 because it was about a 25 minute drive, yeah. but. And it was mental. However, as soon as we step out the rickshaw, look what look at we this have view. been greeted with. Let's go check that out. Yeah. Let's try and cross this road without getting uh, hit by car. Hang on. Yeah, this one's quite calm compared yeah, to some others. All right. Yeah, there's goats. <laughs> right, let's, let's go. go. Okay, that was oh. an easy road. <laughs> that was not so bad. So I think I have to put my scarf on my head before I go in, or when I go in, to the actual... Hey, look at his ears! They're so fluffy. <laughs> Massive ears. I didn't think there'd be goats <laughs> here, but then, yeah. Hello. 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 Look, he's got ginger hair, Dan. <laughs> Good. 
ears are absolutely massive. Never seen a goat like that. Not sure. We'll walk around. There's guys playing cricket over there. But yeah, we've been dropped off and we're just going to try and find the proper entrance and see what we can find. So we thought we were dropped off at the fort, but... Yeah, I think we went to the wrong entrance. Yeah, we've actually been dropped at this garden here, just to the side of the Bad Shahi Mosque. So we'll do the mosque first instead and then do the fort after. But yeah, it's such a nice day, uh, perfect temperature, it's like 20 it's, degrees. Yeah, it's good and I think we're going to go inside the mosque because we did meet a local tour guide outside and it's Friday today so and we learned last week that Friday is 10 till 12 is prayers big prayer time so so we now know that 10 till 12 there's not much going on yeah so we'll pop inside the mosque it looks absolutely stunning yeah, from the outside so from just behind this angle it's beautiful but yeah but there's a lot of stunning buildings in this area the gardens it feels so much more peaceful like as soon as you come in here it's like whoa you can, it's quiet you completely forget what's on the outside just yeah. a few meters away with yeah. all the tuk tuks and the noise well rickshaws and the noises yeah gotta stop calling them tuk tuks because <laughs> it's just in your brain it's in your but, brain yeah but the rickshaws are mental the mo motorbikes are mental um but yeah i mean even like right in front of us the pakistan flag is flying this building is stunning as well it looks like another gate <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> we have managed to get through to the entrance and go through the two museums that we got kind of shunned to <laughs> before coming to see the mosque. Um, but I mean, wow, what a sight! Look, it's incredible. Absolutely. Ash has got her head cover on now. I've got my head cover matching with my outfit, kind of. I'm going to get another one, I think, as well, because otherwise it'll be this the whole vlog, um, the whole time. So, you know, we're just going to have a little wander around and see. See. Well, not only is it a beautiful building, it's just a nice area to relax. Sun's out. We are approached by a few friendly people just interested in where we're from and maybe the odd selfie and things like that. But yeah, this mosque, the Bad Sahi Mosque, is actually means Imperial Mosque. And it used to be the largest mosque in Pakistan before the Faisal Mosque was built in Islamabad, which we also visited. You can check out our Islamabad video to see more of that. But the capacity of this mosque is 100,000 worshippers. So it's absolutely huge. It's, I think, maybe in the top 10 largest mosques in the world. And yeah, it's just stunning. Definitely reminds us of the one we visited in Delhi back in 2019, I think that was. But yeah, just really enjoyed relaxing here, getting some photos, meeting some locals. And we have spotted a couple of restaurants that overlook the mosque. One's called Haveli and one's called Cuckoo's Den. We do plan to come back and see one of those, but yeah, a really cool area here in Lahore. And I think after this, we're going to check out the fort, some of the walled city, and maybe get some food. So, yeah, stunning architecture. smoking board, dragon board, smoking board. How much to try one of these? 200. Yeah. 
ਬੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਗਿਆ ਪੋਲਿੰਗ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਅੱਛਾ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਬਣਾਈ ਨੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਉਹ ਜੈਂਟ ਬੈਠਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਾਕ ਕਾਰਡ ਦੇ ਰਿਹਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ so i hope you can hear us because the prayer call is going off but we just saw this stall called dragon breath and yeah, it's a bit of street food here in pakistan see these little puff balls i think when i put it in my mouth it will make my breath go like a dragon <laughs> well he um he put like nitrogen on it i think yeah breathe out is it working No. <laughs> you've been you've been mugged off, Dan. Hello. What are they like? Are they just like crisps? Like they you know them like cheap potato chips eat like um potato puffs kind of. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think he's a way to put more oh, in. More, ni more nitrogen. More I think he was watching us. The guy was watching us filming it and he noticed that Dan wasn't like breathing out the stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he's putting more on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> now they taste pretty bad, but. <laughs> Do they? Do I try? Um, no, I think I'm fine. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Is it rough? It was so cold. <laughs> I'll try another one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Created a crowd. Yeah. Ah, should you try? Um, no, I think I'm fine, thanks. Give it a roll. No, I think... Should you try? Quick. Yeah, even the thing's cold. Is it really cold? It's a little bit. You can actually hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic. It's like crackling. Yeah. Put it in your mouth. Ah, I don't want to. <laughs> oh. How is it? It's funny, is it? It's like, <laughs> see, the first times we did it, it just tasted like a crisp for me. I was like, what is this? They put more nitrogen or whatever it is. It's like. And now it's like eating an ice cube that tastes like a crisp. <laughs> yeah, every bite you take, it's just like a puff of really, really cold hits your mouth. They're not for me. <laughs> you can enjoy the rest. I'll have the last two. One more. Do you want them? No. You like them? Do you, you eat them? No. <laughs> Scotland. Scotland. Scotland, yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan? Rice cake? Yes. Okay. Very nice. The best rice cake? Uh, 15. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, nice to meet you. Salam alaikum. How are you? Hey, good, yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Good, good. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. One piece of wood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one piece. No problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. One picture. Okay, sure. Yeah. Photo time again. Got to take the mask off. Okay. Yeah. 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 The, the, basically, the video we were making about the dragon fruit, uh, no, the dragon uh, breath. 
the uh, young kid came up to us, started asking some questions, spoke to us. We didn't want to film him because he's just young, but then he started selling me some rice cakes, so I bought a couple. Just uh, he was a really friendly guy, so yeah, really nice kid. Yeah. So now we're just walking down. He's the happy street. to make a sale. Yeah. <laughs> we're just walking. They're, they're not the most excited things, I must admit, <laughs> but. Okay. So let's try the young lad's rice cake. We'll stand here because I uh, can't film into it from here. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, it's quite good. Nice. What is it? Like a sticky of? one, like not a a sweet rice cake. It's definitely a sugary rice cake. But sugary. Yeah. See them? It's coated in. Well, like, uh, Sip. what are they called? Um, remember them puffy? They, they used to be a cereal. Squares bar? No, well, yeah, but they used to be the breakfast cereal, like, but they were like little rice puffs. Yeah. Oh. They called rice puffs? Something like that, yeah. They're like rice krispies, but the bad bad for a But they were uh, made, and they had like the big monster on the box. I'll let you try. I can't remember what they were called. What's it called? Can I try? Cheers to the lovely kid. The, I'm not gonna lie, they look like tiny little worms. It's all right. It's like a rice squares bar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating rice cake, but yeah, we just saw from the mosque, this park, and it looks quite nice, and there's a tower in the middle of it, so we're gonna check that out. And then we'll go back into the walled city. And there's a beautiful dress of parrots. Back into the carnage. No, thank you. There's a lot of parrot holders. Yeah, I don't understand where that is. Horse riding as well, but. Yeah, really we, cool. Um, we prefer the carriages in Doha, where if you check out our video there, they had like remote controlled carriages, oh, no yeah, horses. Yeah. They're better. But this part looks pretty chill, so yeah, it's nice. let's go for a little wander. Behind me is the Minar e Pakistan, and it's a tower that symbolizes independence. So I think it was built in the 60s, and yeah, it's a striking tower here and you can see it from inside the mosque so we thought we'd come and check it out a bit closer and it's in this park that we're just kind of wandering around before we head back into the walled city but yeah really nice kind of green area and it's very busy with locals and i think it's 230 feet the tower it's pretty tall and i think it lights up at night too How are you finding Lahore? Um, I do like it, but it's just, it's so manic. It's so, like, busy with people, everything. Noises. Like, like, people are nice, but genuinely, my experience as a female is I feel, at times, I'm just ignored. And it's like, it's all Dan that they're speaking yeah. to. And I'm just like, it's like I'm not there. So I've not had that experience in any other part of Asia or the world really before. So that's a new thing for me. What about you? Yeah, I've seen that from Ashley's side that it's very much everybody speaks to me. Um, but that's because I guess I'm not sure. They, a lot of people who have approached us have been men. So. Yeah, it's all well, it's all men. That's yeah. the thing. Like some females will smile at me and then things, but I don't know enough about the culture yet yeah. to understand like that reason but there's obviously a reason behind it 100 percent. so i know women have approached me it's only no, been the men it's only men and i think maybe one woman kind of shoot your hand yeah. but it's all been men ask for like where pictures. you're from and pictures yeah. and stuff but so i don't know anyway we're going to head to a bank just to quickly get a top up of funds yeah and buy too many rice cakes <laughs> and then we're going to head back into the walled city but anyway let's head and uh we'll catch up with you soon we're at the back of a rickshaw this time 
This ride's really crazy. You've got to hold on tight. Is there You've something got to hold on stopping us when flying off the back of this rickshaw? Even the seat's quite slippy because it's got like a plastic cover over it. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's crazy. We've got a cool view of the moss there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just going to the bank. It's too hard to cross the road. And a little bit too far away, so we jumped in a rickshaw. You know how we say we're going to the bank? We thought it was like a five minute walk. Turns out it was across this road, yeah. which you can't actually cross, this is a big, big fence. So we hopped in a tuk tuk and it was a crazy drive. He took us about everywhere. Didn't really know where he was going, but hey, he was friendly. But, uh, stopped to ask about five people yeah. away. And a fuel stop, we almost got crashed into by a couple of big trucks. But that's all part of the fun, so it was never it was never a simple task. It's always difficult because we found that our car only works at certain banks and the one that seems to be good is the bank Al Alpha. So maybe try that one if you're here, but I think it could be chai time, yeah? Chai time. Chai and chill. Chai and chill. <laughs> so we have stopped in after that hectic um tuk tuk, sorry, after the hectic rickshaw ride to get a couple of lassies and it feels a lot more peaceful where we've just come to. Um, so we've both gone for a sweet lassie, which is like a yogurty drink. I've not had one since India, I don't think. No, uh, well, other than the not bald bottom. ones from Asda. <laughs> yeah. But this is the real deal, so. It's like, it's sweet. It's got like a hint of like fruit about it. I don't know what, like maybe, I don't know, but it's good. Such a calm sweet. Look at all that mess. And that cost 80. You feeling relaxed now? <laughs> a lassie makes the lassie relax. And if you don't know what that means, lassie in Scottish is girl. <laughs> Top banter. So these are the prices to get in. Adults, foreigners. Two adults. Uh, Scotland. Thank you. Oh no. So these steps we're walking on just now are called the elephant steps and that's because they're so wide a set of steps and it's believed that elephants would be walked up here back in the day so yeah we're gonna walk to the top we might get quite a good view of the fort and the surrounding area because we're in the walled city now so it was 500 pounds 500 pounds 500 rupees <laughs> to get in per person, so that's just over pound fifty maybe per person. I think the locals got in for 50 rupees, so a little bit cheaper for them, but you can understand that. Um, you can do tour guides, they kind of stand at the front trying to sell you tours, but they didn't hassle you too much. They kind of just left you once they said no, so yeah, super hot today, but I think it's going to be a nice sunset in this area for sure. Tired? How many steps do you count? I don't know, I put on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, let's go check out the view. Well, this is the view. So you've got the front gate to the walled city. And then the four pillars in the background, that's from the moss that we visited this morning. And... Yeah, you've got some Pakistan flag. And I believe what was down here, that's an old arsenal depot. So this was obviously a fort that was used to obviously defend the walled city of Lahore. So yeah, we'll take a little look around and keep exploring. So it's pretty chill in here, it's a nice kind of garden area. Yeah, this is nice actually. Perfect way to kind of relax after quite a busy day. Another busy day. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's lovely in here. Um, 
It's very green. A lot of people just sitting trees. on the grass. Yeah, just chilling. But you don't get a lot of in uh, Lahore. So it's nice to have these spaces that you can actually kind of just chill. Yeah. For sure. It's a big cannon in the distance. But these birds, there's these massive birds absolutely everywhere we've got. I know. And they're just like circling the skies all the time. I don't know what they are. Um, they're, yeah, but they're huge. And sometimes they swoop. <laughs> this is my new biggest fear. <laughs> Pigeons in Sarajevo are nothing to break through. These are like hawks. Yeah, they're like big birds. It's probably the swooping just now. Yeah, they're cool. I'll have an Aberdeen seagull over one of these. I'm not saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Any day. Well, the sun's away to set maybe in the next hour, but we're going to go to a restaurant that we were recommended before we actually came to Pakistan by a friend I've got back home in Scotland. And very good, yeah. <laughs> All good. First time in Pakistan. Yeah, first time. It's a very beautiful country. Very yes, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we just stops and says hi. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, back to Haveli. Haveli actually means old mansion house, so it's got a cool styling that we'll show you on the outside. But the main thing is it's got a rooftop that overlooks the mosque. So we're away to head there. Hopefully we can get a table. We've not booked anything, but Hello. You, I really want a table outside. That's the uh, reason yeah. I'll go. But it would be nice. Yeah. So we will see. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> some backside food? Mm -hmm. We've come up to Haveli restaurant and the view is stunning. We've got the mosque right next to us, so we've got the mosque and the sun setting just behind. It's like the perfect end we've got to a am hectic day. We've got amazing seats as well. And yeah, we're literally right at the edge. Like we couldn't be closer to the side. Uh, but yeah, this is unreal. So we've just ordered our meal. I've gone for paneer tikka and a uh, paratha. And Dan has gone for... Chicken karahi, which chicken. I think is a local dish that I was recommended to try. Yep, and a uh, garlic naan. So we've ordered that. We're chilling. We've got banging views. Oh, and also, you get to wash your hands with rose water. Well, the sun's just setting behind us, and I can't believe how nice this restaurant is. The staff are really good and friendly. I just wash my hands with some, like, rose water, is it called? Yeah. Unbelievable view of the mosque, and the sunset as well, so what more could you ask for? But I'm excited to try the food here too. But big shout out to Alia, who recommended this place, and uh, yeah, she certainly knows how to pick a good spot, so... So far she's delivered. Yeah. Just enjoying the view. Well, here is our meal. This smells and sounds, if you can hear the sizzling of the paneer, incredible. So we've got our garlic naan and paratha in here. Our tandoori paneer with some vegetables and Daniel's chicken. Karak. Karahi, Karahi. Karahi. And then a spicy, I guess it's a spicy sauce. I'm not sure if it's like a dipping sauce. Uh, but yeah, this looks amazing. It looks perfect. And the lights have just gone on. Gone on in the mosque. It's perfect view. We've got our food now. Let's tuck in. But this is exactly what I was wanting. This is exactly what we need. I'll get some veggies too. Well, first things first, I'll go for paneer. 
I think my knife's bent because <laughs> it's cutting really weird. Tandoori food's so good. Mm. Best food with the best view. Yes. Spicy? No, not spicy. Best food, best view, the mad birds are flying about. I don't think they'll steal our food, Daniel. I think it's okay. But yeah. Tuck in. I'm gonna try my chicken karaki next, which is a local dish, I believe. So, chicken Lahori karaki. I'm not exactly sure what it is that we fancied, but I fancied it. You right? fancied. So, we'll get a couple bits. I think it's on the bone. Yep. Would you like a knife? I do have a knife, a spare one. It's nice. Is it good? Got, got a little kick to it actually. Spicy? It's like herby spices. Chicken's good. That's my favorite meal I've had in Pakistan. Is it? Bar. That bar. Nice. Well done, Alia. I'll have this again. <laughs> so, yeah. That is... This is so nice. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, here is okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very, very good. I think we're getting heat. Nice. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, no, all very, very nice. Very nice foods. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Shukri yeah. Shukriya. <laughs> good service, good food, nice heater under our seats. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Not as nice as a chicken though, I really enjoyed it. Just look at this now. Well, we're both stuffed now after that meal at Haveli restaurant so much food but the best thing about it was the total bill came to just over 4,000 rupees and we left a tip as well so in pounds it was about 13, 13 pounds 50 but we'll call it a day here in Lahore very hectic very busy we crammed a lot in but we'll be back again in the next one to show you even more of this crazy city so stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one